Hello, everyone, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen Brown, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about the difference between being needy and showing healthy interest in the dating phase or even in the pre-dating phase when you're interested in someone. Now, when I tell you that I've been on both sides of the spectrum, that is the God's honest truth. I have been in that needy space, and I know that space well, and I also know what came from that and how things did not work out for me. So as, as I'm going through this video today, when you, as you are listening, if you discover places inside yourself that are needy, you're like, mm, I'm kind of, I'm doing that. Be happy, be glad because all you have discovered is a symptom of something that needs to be healed inside of yourself. Remember, we are all the walking wounded here. We've all had a series of backstories and pains and traumas and dramas and things that happened in our past that embed in our consciousness as a programming and that we are going to act from that space in relationships. And we're going to keep getting the same results over and over again until we start to have the awareness of what's going on so that we can heal that piece of ourselves so that we can show up in a more healthy way. The first point I want to make is that people that are needy are all up in that. They're all up in it. That means they show up at places that the other person is. They Google or they search and they they talk to people and they're researching to find out where this person might be at this time so they can show up at that place. Now, doing this every once in a while, whatever, is that's not that big of a deal. But if you notice that this is consuming you and you're feeling this sort of obsessive energy about them or that you are stalking their socials and you're paying very close attention to who's commenting and you're all up in that, like I said, then chances are you're bringing needy energy to this person. The problem with this is that a lot of times that we think that this person doesn't know, we think they don't know, you know, we're going to just play it cool and do all the things we can do. But I promise you that your energy is going to eke through because we cannot hide our energy from people, even though the behaviors aren't matching. Now, here's the thing is people are going to notice that too. They're going to notice a, a discrepancy between your energy and your behavior, and that's going to make them feel like they can't trust you. So it's really important that you recognize if you're being needy and do the work you need to do to heal this because it's 100% fixable and you're going to have a completely different experience once you heal those things inside of yourself that is contributing to this needy behavior. So when you're all up in that, if you have their phone number and stuff, you might be texting them all the time, sending them tons of Snapchats or, or commenting on everything that they say, like you're right up in there, like, see me, see me, see me, pick me. All right. That's, that's neediness. And I promise you that if your person is healthy and they're looking for another healthy partner, they're going to notice that right away. And they're going to be like, okay, this is off putting. And then they might start to move away from you. And then as they start to move away, you may then try to chase, which is going to be even more off putting. And then they're going to run even further away. So a needy person tends to be in a rush. Okay. They're in a hurry and they're trying to, to make this happen and they want it to happen fast. Whereas a person who is showing healthy interest is more relaxed. They're not stalking the socials. They may look at stuff here and there. That's normal. That That's part of being human these days, right? With all this information online, they may respond back or they may like reach out and show something that cool happened in their day or whatever it might be, but there's not this obsessive feeling behind it. The next thing that we want to know about needy behavior is that we tend to put the needs, wants, desires, and interests of the other person ahead of our own which means they could be doing so they could say, Hey, do you want to go watch fish swim in the pond? And that's something that you absolutely hate doing. You'll be like, sure. I love that. Yes. I'll for sure come with you. Or do you want to go do a deep cold plunge? And you're like, you know, that's something that you never wanted to do. You've been asked before, but you're like, I'd love to do a deep cold plunge. So you're going to tend to want to put their interests ahead of your own. But here's what's really important. Another thing that needy people do is they tend not to be authentic because they feel like they have to put on a show or they need to audition for this person or to be to become something that they think this person wants you to be. So it's really important that showing healthy interest is saying, hey, that sounds really cool. I'm glad you're you're interested in that. But man, that is not something I want to do. I do not. I've never thought that I wanted to take a cold plunge before, but I would be happy to meet up with you afterwards if you like, or maybe we can plan something this weekend or a couple of days. So you're still showing interest, but it's not that sure. Yes. Whatever you say, I'll go bungee jumping. 
Another thing that needy people tend to do is they fish for compliments or they're constantly on the lookout for validation, which means they're going to say things like, you know, oh, this old dress or, you know, I, I just got ready real quickly or whatever it might be. You know, all the things I've done those things too in my youth. And so I know these things well, but they'll fish for compliments. And again, there's an energy attached to this. I'm all about energy. You guys, you'll hear this. Me talk about this a lot on this channel. There's an energy attached to fishing for compliments. It's one thing if you organically say like, well, I just got dressed really fast and this is as good as it got. And you don't mean anything by it. You don't have a compliment by it. They're going to feel that. Okay. You're not looking for a compliment. They're going to feel that. But if you are in that vibe of having to get compliments, wanting to get validation from them, wanting them to show that they're interested in you, chances are that you are in a needy energy where a person with healthy interest is just going to show up as themselves. They're not going to make excuses. They're not going to fish. They're not going to try to get this person to show them that they like them because healthy pe people doing showing healthy interest are not auditioning. Okay. They're not trying to be something other than who they are. So they're going to be more relaxed in, in throughout the entire situation. The next thing that needy people do is that they tend to push boundaries. That means if someone's like, yeah, I'll call you later. And then you're waiting and you're waiting and you're waiting and you're like, they haven't called yet. And you're, you know, you're not turning your phone off. You're in the movie theater and you make sure it's on vibrate next to your stomach so that you can feel it. If they call and then you're going to rush out of the theater, if they call you those type of things, but you're going to push into it. Like if they say, I'll call you later, you're going to be like, um, okay. But if they don't call you, you're going to be texting them. I thought you're going to call me later or, Hey, what's up? Or, are you done with that thing yet? You know, it is very attract. Freedom is very attractive. So when, Help people with healthy interest are going to give their person freedom. If the person doesn't message them back or call when they say they're going to call for whatever reason, they're going to wait. And if the person messaged them the next day, they're going to, you know, they're going to say, Hey, you called, you know, you said you're going to call last night. What happened? They're like, Oh, this or this happened or whatever. And then they can make a healthy assessment to whatever the reason is that the person didn't call them. Maybe they fell asleep. Maybe they had to work late and they, they were afraid to call you because it was too late. Maybe they were doing something they shouldn't have been doing. But at that point, you can determine what's right or what's wrong. But a person with a healthy self-interest doesn't mean these things may not bother them. It means they're not going to obsess about it and they're not going to blow up somebody's phone or do too much or be in some kind of harried rush or frenzy when the person doesn't follow through with what they're, they said they were going to do. And another thing that needy people tend to do instead of showing healthy, healthy interest is that let's say they're at a function, they're going to focus only on that person. They're going to try to position themselves to be near that person all the time. They're going to constantly be looking at them when they're talking and other people are going to be talking and they're not going to be, you know, um, paying attention to what anything else is going on in the room. You know, there could be a, a bomb explosion over here of like fireworks or something. And they're going to be, like, ah. you know, they're just going to be how, oh, oh, look at that. You know, they're going to constantly be focusing on that person. And we've all seen this, you guys, in movies and things like that when that's happening. And we're all like, oh, dear Lord, right? We're just like, okay, stop, turn that off. Because we know, it, we know how off putting that is, especially if you've been on the receiving end of that. So if you are noticing yourself like hyper focusing on someone, chances are that's needy energy. And remember, that person is going to feel it. So here's the thing, what I want you guys to know for sure in this entire video is this, if you're showing needy energy, please, please, please don't try to muscle your way through to not show needy energy because eventually it's going to show through. And if you show it's like you're all cool and collected and then you get into, you start dating this person and then that comes through, this person's going to feel like they've been sold a con and they're going to be like, oh my God, what is this? And then they're going to probably start pulling away from you or showing disinterest. They're going to be kind of weird with this because that's not what they thought they were buying into. So if you're noticing any of these needy behaviors within yourself, do not beat yourself up. Do not think there's something wrong with you. Okay. We're all the walking wounded here. We're all here, here on planet earth to learn lessons and to heal and grow spiritually. But if you're noticing that, just say, wow, I've got that behavior and I'm going to work on what is causing that behavior inside of me first, before I start to date again, because once again, the needy people attract the narcissist people, the people pleasers attract the narcissist people. Okay. And what happens is is that we're the overgivers and they're the overtakers. So that's what's going to happen. 
that's the next relationship that we're going to end up in. They're going to be excited about a needy person. They love that because you're making it all about them and they want it to be all about them. Where a healthy person is going to be like, whoa, this doesn't feel right to me because the vibration is out of alignment. So I hope this helped you guys today get really clear on what's needy behaviors and what is healthy interest. And if you're new here, I invite you to subscribe and turn on notifications. We talk about all things here about healing from toxic relationships. We talk about self-worth and shame recovery. We talk about self-love mastery. We talk about setting and maintaining healthy boundaries. I'm all about the law of attraction energy and manifesting. So if any of these things appeal to you guys and you liked this broadcast, then please subscribe, turn on notifications, and don't forget to hit the like button because you really help me when you do that. And also I'm always love to hear your comments. So please comment below. I answer my comments as they come in and I would love to hear from you. So thank you for being here, everybody. And I'll see you next time. Peace.